Welcome to another So Sick Records Presents. My name is Travis Hudgens. I'm an audio engineer. Today I'm going to be showing you how to chop and screw vocals or pitch shift, um, give you that deeper voice. I'm also going to show you the correct way to do some cool stuff with pitch shifting in your beat to create dope chops and um, that slow down, you know, verified tape effect that. Um, I've had a lot of questions for a lot of videos. Um, I got a auto-tune video coming up, not today, but soon. Um, I appreciate all the subscribers I'm getting, man, and all the support you guys are showing. I'm going to bust out this song and show you uh, some dope ways to do some dope stuff with your voice with this chopping and screwing. Um, it's one of my favorite tricks, especially with the beat chops, man. They can really add a variation to your uh, to your swagger on your mix so it doesn't sound all the same all the time. So i got a track right here. So cool. I just ended up releasing this one in a brand new video. You guys can check that out on my page if you want. If you mess with it, share it, man. It's actually my own work. Um, and I'm going to show you. I'm just going to get to work and show you some stuff. So I got a part here I identified that would be a dope place for a chop. So here's the song. Deck pimp bitches in my way, gon' be next on my death list. Fresh with the death spit, hit you in the neck quick. Pass the mic pimpin', I'ma show you who the best is. Run and get your best quick. I want that part that says show you where the show you who the best is. I want to chop that. I want to show you who the best is. Right? I think it'll give it a cool effect. So this is how we're going to do it, man. Check it out. I'm going to select the audio that I want. Wish I could zoom in on this bad boy. Let me see what's up with this. Let me make this uh, track a little bigger for it. Let's go here. Track height. Let's make this one large. All right, so here's the audio I want. Deck pimp bitches in my way. Don't be next on my death list. Fresh with the death spit. Hit you with the neck quick. Pass the mic pimp and I'm going to show you who the best is. I'm going to show you who the best is. So you highlight the selected uh, vocals that you want to chop. Deck pimp bitches in my way. Which is, I bet, right here. Let's check it out. Deck pimp bitches in my way. Don't be next on my death list. Fresh with the death spit. Hit you with the neck quick. Pass the mic pimp and I'm going to show you who the best is. Right here. Right here. Now I'm going to go to Audio Suite. Pitch Shift. Pitch Shift right here. Drop this down right here. On my course. And I'm going to sample it right here. This little microphone in the corner allows you to sample it before you render it. So if it needs to get deeper, you can adjust it that way. Or if it needs to be higher, you can adjust it that way. So... All the way up to high, right? See if you hear that. Sounds good to me for this exercise. Render it. Boom. It's done. And to even make it even cooler, what I'm going to do is a beat chop. Right here above it, I'm going to chop it out. Sit right there. Delete that piece of the audio. And I want that to end on a slap, right? So obviously I'm going to cut it back a little more. I think right there. Let's try that. Almost a little bit late, so I'll zoom in a little bit. I'll drag this over. I want to write where the beat drops. Right there, right? Now I can fine tune this a little more, you know, zoom in and get it right where it needs to be. But for this exercise, I think I'm pretty dang close. Actually, you can see right here, here's where the waveform starts. Right here are some entrails, so I can actually scoot this back and put it right here on the fat slap. Boom. Right there. Okay. Check it out. It's a cool beat chop. The best is run and get your best. Hit you with the neck quick. Pass the mic pimp. And I'ma show you who the best is. Run and get your best quick. Even cooler, I got another trick for you. You're only getting this at So Sick Records Presents. So share and subscribe and tell your friends about this. I'll answer any questions you got with your Pro Tools. 
I'm familiar with Dal Daz, Ableton, you know, they all do the same type of stuff, right? Studio One, uh, whatever you're rocking with, right? Just got to click different buttons to get it to do the same thing. So right here, Pro Tools 10, probably all the way up to 12. I've been rocking it since 7, 6, 5, I don't know. I'm going to highlight this ass into this beat right here. I'm going to click on Audio Suite, Verify, Pitch Shift, Verify. This is going to give you your tape rewind effect and your tape speed up. Your make the beat drop or speed up, right? You can sample it right here, right? Or speed up. I actually got one of those in the beginning of the song. It's kind of cool to bring into. So we're going to slow it down. Check this out. Too much of a slowdown. So we'll undo that. We'll highlight less of the audio right here. Try that. I want it to be a quick chop out effect. So control Z to undo what we just did as far as the rendering. Highlight that much, render it. Right there, that's a cool effect. Now, while this is still highlighted, there's, a, there's another part to this to make it sound even doper. And you can fine tune it with different audio. You can do different fades, right? But different fades and slopes and fade outs are going to give you different approaches depending on what the instrumental has in it. So I'm going to hit Control F, right? Right now we have a cross section fade. I don't know why we got that. I'm going to tell you why we got that. Actually, I do know why we got that. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. The reason why I was doing a crossfade is because it's trying to merge these two pieces of audio together. You can see that line right there. And um, that's what it's trying to do. So if you get the crossfade, that's not what you want. It's trying to merge from this line and merge these two pieces together. What we want to do is click back here, get the box, slide it over to about right there. Now hit Control F Why this fade out, this linear fade out is highlighted. We'll hit Control F. Boom. Now it's giving us options here. Down here, it's on standard. We want to click on this box and select a slope down, right? I like this. You imagine your music, right? Going, going, going down a hill. Whoop. Right there. Whoop. The eloping sound. So I'm going to hit this one. Right? You can actually turn it up, your audio file, so it actually hits a little bit of a slope out harder. It's going to turn up your waves so your waves aren't so faded out right away. Right? I'm going to hit it like that. And like I said, you got to play with this. You can see the slope now. You got to play with this depending on each song, and it's all about ear, right? There's no magic formula, but this is what you do, right? Here you go. Let's check it out. You probably can't hear the chop as good as I can, but in your studios, you will, I assure you. That's it for this episode. How to chop and screw, verify, cool beat drops and slices. Um, this is Mr. Mac, Travis Hudgens, www.sosickrecords.com. That's S-O-S-I-K records.com. How to chop and screw. Check me out. Ask me questions. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Shout out to everybody out there who's following me, man. Much love. Peace. Hit you in the neck quick, pass the mic pimp And I'ma show you who the best is Run and get your best quick, pay up off the left shit So cool up in my isms, giving cardiac a rest kit Welcome to my guest list, you're on proud shows